Hello friends, welcome to Power BI World. In today's video, we are going to create a dashboard which is related to a pizza store. So let's get started. So if you can see on my screen, I have created a very simple dashboard which is related to a pizza store and the name of that store is ABC Pizza Stores. Okay, so this is a pizza franchise which sells a different kind of pizzas in their stores. And to create this dashboard, we have somewhere around uh, 12 days of data into this report to create this uh, very simple dashboard. Okay. So let me go and uh, show you the data set that we will use for this particular uh, report that we are going to create into Power BI. Okay, so let me go to the uh, data here. Okay, so this is the data that is uploaded into Power BI. So if you see the very first uh, file that is uploaded is your branch data. Okay, wherein it contains the branch the branch manager and the country that uh, branch belongs to the second data that we have is the daily target okay so as i said we have only uh, 12 days of data and per day target for each stores i mean the target for each store is the same and the day wise target has been given here which is our daily target then we have the sales data so in this sales data what we have is the date branch name and the type of pizza that has been sold by each and every stores the quantity the customer purchase timing of the purchase uh, so whether this particular time and the date which falls under you know the pizza was sell between i mean the pizza was sold between uh, before 11 am or it was after 11 am so this is the time range uh, that has been given here so a very this is a dummy time that has been updated here the price okay so the price per pizza type which has been updated here and the final sales okay so this is the third data that we have and we have a sales target so now if you see here in this particular sheet we have the pizza type and the target for that particular uh, pizza type so now if you see we have a bbq chicken and the sales target is 17000 rupees okay so that is the target for that particular pizza type so we have different kind of pizza types and different sales target for each and every pizza type okay so this is the data set that we have okay and basis this data set what we are going to do is we will create this uh, simple dashboard and to power bi so let's get started to build up this report okay so let me create a new page here and on this new page what we will do is we will try and build up this particular uh, report okay so let me also show you the data set that i have kept so this is the data set that we have okay so we have a background image which i'll just open and show you so this is the background image that we are going to use in our report which you can see in this background okay uh, let me close this okay then we have the data set so we have a pizza logo here okay so this is the logo that we are going to use in our dashboard which is already been used here if you see this this is the logo that we have used okay and again then we have our data set so the data is already uploaded into Power BI. So what we will do is we will directly start creating the report uh, basis, the data set that is uploaded here. Okay. So what this dashboard give us is the total sales. Okay. So the total sale is 189.48 thousand rupees. That's the total sales for all these branches, which has been shown here. Okay. Then we have sales by branch. So which are uh, which of the branch is giving us how much sales so this is updated here we have sales by manager so each branch has a manager that's the data we have here in the branch data we have branch country and the manager name so basis this we have created the sales manager 
okay then we have target and sales by date so this is the date that is there in our data and basis this date we have the target and we have the total and the final sales that we would call it as okay so uh, date wise sales and target then we have sales by pizza type so whichever is the pizza type and what is the total sales for that particular pizza type is reflecting here okay so you can see uh, if i select any of the branch here so the date of the sales by branch sales manager and sales by pizza type will change uh, along with the sales by date however the target would not change okay so the target here is been static for all the branches so uh, it is not that you know the Chennai branch will have a different target or the Mumbai branch will have a different target no the target for each and every branch is kept the same and the final sales will definitely differs basis the data that is uploaded into Power BI okay if I go and click on Mumbai branch, so if you see the target remains the same, however, the sales changes. If I click on Pune and the same thing happens, the numbers are getting changed here. However, the target remains the same. Okay, so uh, let us go and create this simple dashboard into a new sheet into Power BI and see how we can create this. Okay so i am into page one and here what we will do is we will create our pizza report onto a new page so the very first thing that we will do here is we will change the uh you know page size and to do so what we will do is we will go to view tab and click on page view okay you have three options that is your fit to page fit to width and actual size so depends how you want how your report should look like so as of now what we will do is we will stick with fit to width okay so we will get a lot of area to uh, create our reports and dashboard and basis this then we can change the view that we want to okay so this is the very first step that we can do second thing what we will do is we will upload the background image so we have a background image if you see here we have a background image here so what we will do is we will upload the background image so to do so what we have to do is go to the format tab go to the page background that is the option here okay first take this transparency to zero and click on add image so you see uh, i have this pizza dashboard and i have the background image what i'll do is i'll just click on the background and click on open so this is how my background will look like so the very first step that uh, we have done here is updated the background image okay so now what we will do is we will add the very first row that is there so the very first thing that we have to do is add a image so this is the logo for our pizza store so to do so what we will do is we will go to the insert tab and we have an option which says image we will click on this image and select the pizza logo so now we have the pizza logo which is updated here and now what we will do is we will go and format this image okay so what we will do is we will click on this image and we get the option as format image and click on general uh, let's take the width uh, let's take this position to 12 which will be this let's take this position as 12 as well and let's take this width as 75 because we do not want that logo to be into a very big size so let's take this as 75 to 75 so that's the width and the height uh, if you want to adjust this you can do so so wherever you want to place this logo you can uh, do that okay so this is our logo that we have uh, kept here uh, if you want to do more formatting to your images you can do if you want this background to be on you can keep this the way it is the way it is shown here or if you want to off the background you can do that as well so for now what we will do is we will keep background image i mean the background as off 
and we will take the shadow as on so once i click on shadow on so if you see uh, here the shadow will reflect of that particular logo so to do I'll, I'll show it one more time to you so if you see here this part is a dark part because the shadow is on if i off the shadow that particular part will be uh you know in the lighter shade so once i click on shadow off you see that has been gone and if i click on shadow on we have that dark shadow again okay so the very first step of adding the image i mean the logo has been done now what we have to do is we have to create the uh brand name so this is abc pizza store this is the brand name so what we will do here is we will go and click on a text box so the brand name that is there here is abc pizza store so let's type this abc uh, let's type this as pizza and this is stores okay so this is the abc pizza store uh, let's select this before before we select let's increase the size of this text to 28 and let's take this font as this okay now what we will do is format the text box so to do to format the text box we have options let's go to the general option and select the width as 315 okay and let's select the height to 60 okay uh, let's select this text once again and change the color from black to white and let's off the background so that we have uh, so let's off the background first okay so this is how our uh, brand name ABC pizza store looks like so let's go and align this okay let's align this here okay so we got the logo we got the pizza stores name the brand name let's go and see what's next so now what we have to do is we have to create the total sales okay so this total sales what we want is we want this total sales of uh, whatever pizza type on the particular dates has been sold so this will give us an overall sales for each and every branch that is updated in our data set okay so to create so what we'll do is we'll go to page one again where we are creating a dashboard uh let's take a card visual here let's go to this card visual okay so here on the card visual what we will do is we will create our uh total sales so we'll go to the sales and we have the final sales column that is showing here let's let's click on the final sales column and it is giving us the final sales okay so let us do some formatting let us change and let us match uh, the card that is taken in page one according to this okay okay so let's go to page one where we are creating our report and let's format this uh, card visual that is there so the very first thing that we will do is reduce the uh, width and height of this particular uh, visual so let's go to the general option and let's take this width as 175 and let's take this height as 80 okay so that's too small let's increase okay let's increase this okay so now let's format this again uh, let's go to the data label so before we go to data label let's off the category first okay so okay this is how it will look like let's go to the data label uh, let's select the display unit as auto okay we'll keep this the way it is uh, let's decrease the size to 30 okay okay let's all right okay let's go and change the uh, background first okay let's let's off the background we don't need the background okay let's go to the data label again and change the font color to white okay so this is how it will look like uh, let's go to the title 
let's on the title and name this as total sales oops let's name this as total sales okay let's off this let's take the font color as white let's take the background color uh, white let's take the font color as black okay let's align this to center let's increase the text size to 15 and let's keep the font family the way it is okay so this is how uh, we can create the uh, visual for our total sales uh, let's add the border as well let's click on this and take the border color as white now let's add the shadow click on this and so this is how it will look like so this is the third option from our report which we have created total sales and now let's create the branch name let's go to page one again okay so this branch name is nothing but a slicer okay so this is a slicer once we click on the each and every uh, branch name the numbers are changing so this is, is this is nothing but a slicer so let's go to page one again and let's create a slicer so click on this slicer option okay and let's insert the branch data to it so let's go here and let's take the branch name okay let's go to the format option and instead of this orientation as vertical let's take this as horizontal okay so once we take this as horizontal you see what had happened here is we got the details the way we want okay uh, let's go and off the slicer header okay and now let's format the slicer as well okay so let's take this slicer here and let's start formatting the way we want let's let's uh, decrease the size okay all right so this is how our slicer will look like uh, okay let's go and do the formatting so the very first thing let's format here is let's off the background Okay, so this is how it will look like uh, let's go to the title and add the title as branch name so let's type this as branch name okay let's off the word wrap let's take this as let's keep this font color as black itself and take this as white color let's align it to center and increase the font size okay okay now let's go and add border to it let's add the border as white and let's add the shadow so shadow that totally depends on you whether you need to add the uh, shadow to it or not so that's totally up to you uh, i feel adding shadow gives you a better view of the report so i prefer to add shadow to each and every visualization that i create okay so this is how it will look so before we proceed further uh, let's format the uh, names in the uh, in the slicer so we will go and take this color as black okay and let's increase the size and let's change the font family to dim okay all right so uh if you see what we have done is our very first line or the very first uh, page has been created where we have created the branch name total sales we have also created the uh, you know the brand name and we have added the logo in our report okay so this is how your uh, page will look like 